Hello everybody, welcome to another wonderful day of Sean Ward's adventure in Lantern Forge. So what are we going to do here today? Well, I came back from our little expedition. I got some goodies here, some stone bricks, a dungeon door, and I'm going to do some building, I think, underground. Uh, we also got this copper shovel here, um, as well as a copper hoe, which is kind of cool. Um, or does it say, so it looks like it, its durability is way better than the stone stuff. The stone stuff is like 60, I got, that's like 60. So this will last a lot longer than you know, these stone ones. Um, it's almost like a waste to use you know, the copper stuff on this, but I'm going to use it anyways. I'll use up the stone stuff to harvest this. And Yeah, okay. Um, so anyways, I will show you how to make some glass jars because I want to get some milk here. So where's my sand? Here's my sand. I'm going to take that sand and we're going to make some glass jars. Uh, I think we go to the smelter here. Here we go. Now, to make glass jars, right here, empty glass bottles, you need these glass blocks, which then these glass blocks are made this way. So how many? Let's make 10. Yeah, let's make 10, 9, 10. Now, these blocks are huge, so I'm not sure if we would actually use this like uh, like as windows or... Oh, and I figured out how to interact with the ground level. If you go zero, you can now put these objects into the ground. Isn't that cool? Huh, I figured that out the other day. That was pretty cool. So, like these wood walls and stuff, I think you can make wood flooring almost, or with the wood blocks. Um, so that's kind of cool. So anyways, so let's make some glass bottles now. So let's put this in my inventory. Um, glass bottles. Here we go. Let's make 4, 8, 12. Maybe that's good enough for now. Um, you basically equip these glass bottles. That's what ends up happening. Um, maybe I'll keep the stone axe. Yeah. I'm going to break the stone axe up. So we got 12 glass jars there. So now what we do with those... Uh, let's put this glass and sand back. Sand, let's put this glass beside that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll do this. I think we can make stuff with the stone, maybe. Uh, woodworking bench? Well, that's just a woodworking bench. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's, t let's take a look here. So, I think we can make stuff with the stone. Um Kind of stone oven that uses the small stones. Stone fence, so it uses those ones as well. Oh, that's cool. We should see about you making these around. Um, castle wall. Oh, okay. So, yeah, see, that uses block of stone, and then we get castle walls. So, yeah, so we could definitely use this stuff um, eventually. So, I'm going to sleep here, and then we're going to eat. Uh, let's eat some pie. And let's go find some cows. Let's eat some bread. 70, I need 30. So, yeah, let's, get, let's, let's go out. Okay, so we're going to find some cows. Basically, how you use this stuff is you find a cow and you right-click on it, I think, or left-click. We'll figure that out when I find one. Um, and excuse the lag. I don't know why that's happening. It's probably because I just loaded the game and I'm in the game. And usually for a bit it slows down so I equip the bottles and I'm going to left click right click oh right click two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve oh okay okay so so what you can have as many milk as you want that's crazy oh that was a good catch there's another cow there huh yeah, weird. Well, there we go. So there's lots of animals here, actually. I can get lots of fur. I'll have to watch this when this spawns. Um, so what's my next plan now? Well, I want to build some stuff underground here. So let's go back here. Oh, I can eat that. Uh, 35, 60. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, those omelets I'm going to use up. Um, I think I got extra eggs. Um, but the cooking will do, I think, in a different... Well, maybe in this episode or a different episode. Um, so if you're watching this, what I suggest is to, to go grab a snacky snack. Um, definitely grab some stuff to munch on or to, to 
to drink or, or anything like that because I think it's going to be a long... Oh, I got 39 eggs. Okay, so we'll put this milk in here so with our food stuffs. Uh, let's put this in here too. This is a corn seed. Uh, the wheat we can put in here as well. Okay, so I'm going to put away the... Uh, what the hell? Where's my stairs going down? I don't remember destroying them. Um, <laughs> what is going on here? I don't know what happened, so I'm going to. That's confusing. <laughs> when I played this last, I was making an intro. Yeah, okay, eggs. I was making an intro, and. Well, or outro, I don't know what, where it's going to be yet. Um, I'm recording this before all that stuff. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, okay, so there's patches of fur. So anyways, yeah, I was you know, off. You know, after I finished recording the last episode, I kind of stayed on. I did some off-camera items. Uh, well, there's some wool. Did some off-camera items. And, uh, yeah, I came up from down there. You know, because I was, I did some mining. I grabbed all that copper, um, which I'll show you. It's in my chest. And now, it's so weird. Okay, just kind of double checking if there's any more goodies down here. Okay, that's so weird. Okay, uh, what's this? A oh, spider nest. Ooh, does that mean like level nine? Wow. Uh, but I'm, I think, level 7 now. We'll have to play with those. Uh, where am I? Oh, here we are. Yeah, what the hell? So, the stairs are gone here that were right here. I don't remember beating it up or destroying it, so... Um, okay, well, I think we can replace those. So, I think if we right-click here... Uh, just give me a second here to look through this stuff. Okay, no, I guess not. Uh, let's go into my main inventory. I think there sh should be some wood. Here we go, wooden stairs. So somehow I lost those other wooden stairs. No big deal. Uh, I hope there's no funkiness happening. Uh, do these stack? Yeah, they stack. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so let's build a couple just for the hell of it. And let's kind of go down here. So we're going to put it... But uh, that sucks because I was building something. So I better not have lost that stuff. That would be terrible. So let's equip this stuff. Oh, yeah, I want to put away the growables. There we go. Um, so I think how to access the ground would be to you go into the ground placing mode with the stairs, and then I think it will let me dig downwards with it. Uh, we're going to have to double check that here. Uh, let's put the stuff away. I should have done this before, and I apologize. <laughs> oh, man. Terrible. It's because we went on that little trip, and I was doing some ranting, and then we were going to go down, and I was shocked. I, was, I think I was more shocked at the fact that it was just gone. Like I was thinking, how it could be... Oh, yeah, this is also from the other trip, the, the copper stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use up this equipment first, and then go through this stuff. Uh, like a usage basis because if you notice they have durability all this stuff so I like to not have to craft more if I don't need to unless it's better um, so anyways let's put these away I've got 40 patches of fur that's cool um, some more wool okay let's go back downwards so like I said we'll have to dig downwards um, let's put it here I think it was here I go zero. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's right click. Cool. Cool. So that's how you do it. That is so cool. And it just it displaces the dirt. Um, well, was that two minutes already? I hope not. Uh, that would be terrible. So let's get out of this mode. So let's spacebar to combat mode. And down we go. Okay, what the fuck? So. What the hell, hey? There's two ladders here now, for some strange reason. 
Um, I think I came down this one that I built. And this one was hidden for whatever reason. So let's take this one up. So we'll see what happens. Huh. So I can break the other one. And this one's the real one. Wow, okay, so I'm going to break this one right here. Uh, crazy. Because this one doesn't work anymore. It's, there's not a surface thing. So I don't know why that ha that happened. Weird. Okay, well, now if I go back up. Okay, cool, but what the hell is this? Is that like just dirt? I hope that turns back into grass. Otherwise, we're going to have to somehow <laughs> replace that. Okay, so here we are. So I'm just going to kind of place a torch right here. Okay, so I think I'm just going to carry on with this. I was just going to build a big square area, and I was going to kind of show all of you how we go about doing this. So this is the stone bricks from the dungeon that we harvested. Um, oh, I got two stairs still. So I, Okay, so what I did is I destroyed those other stairs that were here uh, because this, uh, the other one stopped working. So upstairs, we're going to create kind of a circle around the stairs. So that way, if it ever happens again, we know where to replace the stairs with. Um, so yeah, so back to the building. So here I pick two, put it in my hotbar. We're in the building mode. And watch this. If you rotate, so the eight or the nine, you can kind of rotate to the different uh, blocks. And then you can, and then I think it's, it's, it's right-click to place, left-click to move. So if I go right-click, bang. And if I get rid of those, oh, see that was in the ground, I pushed the zero. So if I rotate to where it's not cracked, right click, and then let's rotate again. So what this I'm, what this area is, is just kind of like a neat little, I don't know, underground structure I wanted to build. I just wanted to try building in this game just to see what it felt like. Uh, one, two, and then there'll be a door. So there'll be a door here. So this will be another... Yeah, I just wanted to kind of do building just to try it, to see what the mechanics are. Um, we're going to have to replace some torches here. Uh, let's put the door in. So the doors are done the same way as the walls. We're going to have to go harvesting for some more walls anyways. Um, let's see here, what happens if I rotate like that? Let's see, can I do that? Because the doors. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. Um, open. Ah, I don't know. It's hard to say. It <laughs> doesn't. Oh, oh, that one turns in. Ah, gotta knock this down. Ah, okay, good. I can use my fists. <laughs> okay. So that I don't like that. So what happens if we rotate like this? And then we right click. Oh, it opens in still. Now I was just seeing if there was a better way of doing this. And I don't think there is. So we'll, put up, we'll probably put it in this way. So that way this all kind of matches. We're going to have to dig this out here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, here's something cool. As I was digging, I, I wanted to put some torches up for lighting. Watch this, if you have the torch on the wall, I go nine, it'll be on the far wall, it'll be on the side, so you can actually place these in very different and elaborate places. I thought the placing was more rudimentary, but I don't know, I think it's starting to shape up here. Uh, I wanna put, so I can put it on that wall, I can match the other side. Huh, look at that, that's crazy. <laughs> this is amazing, this, this system actually. Once you start to play with it, mess with it. Um, but yeah, but I'm going to carry on digging and I'll build what I can and I'll show you what I got. Okay, here we are. So we did a little bit more work, put some torches in place. Um, it's kind of dark in this corner here because I don't think there's no torches on the outside. So I can either move these ones in more or put them on the wall, which I don't know if I'll like. Um, so we'll have to reevaluate that when we get to that. Um, I replaced the stairs in the middle here, and I put a stone, like stone flooring in the bottom. So yeah, so now we're gonna go grab some more of this stuff. Um, there's more area to explore in that dungeon there. Um, I didn't do all of it, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna just make sure I got 
tools equipped here, maybe even that. Ah, actually, let's put the crossbow on. Um, because I think the bow is about ready to be pooched. Let's equip the bow so we can use it. Okay, actually, <laughs> we are going to go, but let's open up the skills here. So I got three skill points, and I think I got some character, 15 character points here. So let's see what this all does. So I want strength because I want to use melee more. So we'll use a couple of strength there. The block chance goes up. Uh, dexterity. Oh, increased damage done by bows and crossbows. Improves chance to dodge. See, so even with melee, you want this as well. Um, what's this? This is. Yeah, I'm not going to increase that. So let's do this. Couple points into here. Couple points into here. Maybe a couple points intellect. And then one, two, three, four, five. One. Two. There we go. We'll do that. We'll try that. Just blindly do that. Bang. Perfect. Done. <laughs> now, increase the chance of critical strike. Hits multiple enemies from X. So this, I figured out how to use. So we're definitely going to add more, I think, to that. Um, this is with increased damage and knockback. Requires bow crossbow. That's kind of cool. Increase the chance to dodge. Oh, that's kind of cool to do the dodge. Put one point in that. Um, this is magic, so we don't really use magic. Um, and maybe I want to do this increase movement speed four, maximum hit points by five. See, I want to get to this kind of stuff down here. So this will be kind of I'm going to do the adventure skill tree first. Um, we seem pretty good with the weapons. Um, yeah, I don't know. This dodge is only one percent, so that's not really like a big deal. So I think I'm going to go these two, go one here, one here, since this is still requires five points of previous tier. So if I do another path, another Vigorous, that will open up this. Right, increases light rays by 10% per point stacks with equipped. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Now let's pick something different, actually. It's, let's increase the Whirlwind, because we're going to use that. Okay, done. Okay, so I'm going to use up these bows and then we'll get to the melee aspect. Since everything, it takes resources to use, um, yeah, it gets kind of tricky that way. So, yeah, back over here. It's loading a bit for me. So, as you can tell, see here, I've kind of carved everything out. Um, I think if I want to get all this stuff out of the ground, I would just simply have to replace this stuff that I dig out. So for example, let's take these dirt blocks here and do this. Pick three. Oh, watch. I'm going to go into the ground mode and then we're going to just right click the place and look at that. It pops them up. Okay, yeah, so this is how we could get blocks out of the ground. Boop, boop. See, they, they just pop out. So if I did that with the stone blocks, I could get that. So maybe I'll dig this out one time and do that. Um, but see, we need to harvest all of this stuff here right now. Uh, so let's grab these torches. We'll have to replace these torches onto the ground, of course. But the ones on the walls we can take off. And uh, let's do some more digging here. I got another pickaxe. Yeah, I don't have a copper pickaxe yet. That's another thing I want to make. Um, so yeah, so I'll, I'll carry on mining here and I will come back as soon as I got something. Okay, so I need to eat. Oh, and, I need, and I'm fatigued. So I think I'm going to head out here and I'm going to rest up. Uh, let's eat up right away. I actually need to eat two of those. Wow. I'm going to have to make some more food sometime. Um, I completely didn't see the fatigue. I wonder if I can build a bed down here. Um, that probably makes sense. Um, I know I was doing a lot of digging, so that might have something to do with the fatigue. Because uh, I noticed the food goes down a lot faster when you're doing things. Uh, so there probably is some sort of weird mechanic that way. And yeah, so I'll see you topside. Okay, and it's going to be nighttime soon, so that's pretty cool. So let's pop up in here. Uh, let's do some rest. Great. Looks like we're all good. 
ready to rock and roll. Um, anything to drop off here? Uh, maybe those seeds we could drop off. So this dirt, I don't like the way this dirt looks. I hope it turns into grass, otherwise we'll have to fix that. And I know I said that already. <laughs> um, we want some dirt just for... Okay, well, I got bread and stuff. I, th I think we're still okay with the food. Um, got my picks. Um, we keep those. Okay, down we go. Okay, let's run all the way back. Okay, here we are. So, I stopped mining because I got tired of it. <laughs> I think we're going to go adventuring here. We're going to go further into the depths. Um... Okay, good. There are creatures there. You can see those creatures there. They're low-level stuff now. Uh, might not get much experience for this stuff, but uh, I think I think we can smash this down. Oh yeah. Okay. Come on, goblin. Bang, bang, bang. Look at that. I'm gonna use my fist to break this down. Oh. Can I not use my fist? Okay. Guess we'll have to. Use the sword, and uh, let's do, bang, let's do it again, there we go, oh, he's still alive, there we go, toast, <laughs> perfect, so now let's place some torches down, let's put one here, put one on either side of the doors, oh, there's a rat, there we go, I want to place you guys. Put a couple here. Okay. Uh, uh, no, I want to place you. I don't want to open the door. Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll keep that open so we know which way we've gone. Uh, let's do each side again. Okay. So I can get a look inside. This is actually quite a big dungeon. I'm surprised about that, actually. Okay, so let's go this way where the creature is. I'm gonna have to make more torches. That's interesting. Bang! Raw meat, patch of fur. Um, uh, uh, too late. Uh, these guys don't even hurt anymore. Cool. Oh, let's go combat mode. Bang! Okay, it's no bad, not, not bad at all. Let's keep going here. Cool. Okay. Just need to place some torches now. Bang. Bang. There we go. Okay. And I'm out of torches. So, I'll be right back when I have some more torches. Okay, here we are. We're back. And we got torches. We're ready to tackle it again. So let's see here. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so there's the end of the thing here. How about down this way? Uh, it's a bigger chamber. Let's place some torches, I guess. Uh, one there, there. And let's go here, there, uh, there. There's, ooh, it's this locked chest here. Can we bust it? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, of course, I ran over everything, so I didn't see what it, it dropped, but that's okay. Looks like money. Um, right, 812. I'm not sure what that's for. We'll have to see what we can do with that. We can turn that into ingots there, looks like. Uh, let's put torches. Um, ah, confused. Let's go like this. Let's open it, run, and shoot. Three, four. Okay, a patch of fur. Let's start placing. See, that's the problem, right? Is you can't really... Yeah, you can have an archer, but it... I don't know. It's not going to... Okay, and then we have to run away, of course. Yeah, and now we can shoot at him. Ah! Maybe that's the thing, just gotta run more. Um, can I shoot this thing with my bow? Yeah, I can. Even before goblins come out. <laughs> there we go. 
Uh, let's put some torches. See, I can't see nothing, so I gotta put torches down. Put one there, one there. Put one there. Okay, it looks like we found the end of this dungeon here. Um, let's take this bookshelf down. Parchment? Did I get parchment? Oh yeah, look, I got parchment. That's so cool. Craft with iron tailoring table. Oh, not yet. I don't have that yet. I don't have iron. I think iron is deeper down. So this is all going to be harvested at some point. Uh, let's go down this way here. So I need a torch there. Okay, so I'm taking down this stuff here. I had a little crash there. And I'm not sure how far back it came. So I tried to come back as, as much as I could. So here we are continuing. And let's see here. So we're exploring this cavern. We're going to see what's in here. And there's more creatures. So let's do the same technique. Run away. Shoot the bow. Well, I'm going to use this up. Bang. Okay. So that bow's lasting quite a while. we got the crossbow as well that we can use. So let's carry on. Put a torch there. Uh, torch here. Oh, torch here maybe about about here <laughs> there and maybe there okay maybe one more so yeah these torches don't have a very big range so you definitely want to you take advantage of everything and you know, just place them don't be too worried about uh, or don't be too stingy <laughs> uh, oh look at that herb seed Oh, and I need that herb seed. Oh, crap. So, let's do this. Let's place this into the ground. So we get both of those. Cool. So that's the savory herbs. That's what we need to, for growing stuff. That's awesome. Huh. Okay, let's put that there. I'm full. So I'm going to go back to fill up. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back after I fill up. Or after I drop off everything. Yeah, I think I'm going to finish the episode here. Um, I was going to go back down there and do some more explorations. But I guess I'm going to finish off with some farming here. So I hope you all have been enjoying this series. Um, I've been trying to kind of break it up. and uh, It's kind of gotten grindy in some parts. Like all this, this farming stuff. And then the harvesting there. I need to find more copper. Um, I can use up the copper that I have. It's just it's going to take an awful long time um, to try and find some more uh, with the amount of creatures. And i got to keep building torches and expanding out. So with that in mind, I'm going to probably use up the copper here for for some, uh, maybe some equipment, some basic tools, uh, maybe a new sword. Uh, we'll see when that time comes. Um, maybe like a new like pickaxe. Uh, since I do have some stuff here already copper, sure this is broken and the new durability will be, uh, is only 150, but still better than nothing. Um, still better than these guys with the 60 durability. So um, I'm probably going to go ahead and just kind of harvest this. Um, you make some food up um, and be ready for the next episode with us exploring and looking for some more copper, I guess. Hopefully you won't be getting bored of that. Uh, Let's go collect some resources here, um, because I know that's kind of fun for me to go down and to you kill stuff and to to find your resources. <laughs> Just a lot of good fun. Um, let's go grab. Yeah, that chicken used to be here, but now it's not, um, as you can tell, because when you reload, it seems to respawn the animals. Um, it doesn't keep the animals static like in Minecraft, uh, which is fine by me. So I just need to run up this way, grab this patch of fur. Is there any eggs anywhere? Any chickens? Yeah, see, uh, there's another patch of fur, but no chickens. It's too bad. The eggs are more useful. So I think I'm going to finish here with the uh, the harvesting of all this stuff. Just like to thank all of you for for joining me in this adventure here. And uh, I know I said we'll go back down there to, to do some more dungeon crawling, and we certainly will. Uh, so in the meantime, thank you everybody for watching, and I look forward to you in the next episode. Bye-bye.